So hi everyone, my name is Tomasz Glozar and I prepared a presentation about the disadvantages of Arduino and trying to fix them using LLVM. Uh, I am a high school student in the last grade and I also work as an intern in the OS and application, OS and application modernization group at Red Hat here in Brno. Uh, this is the same team which, uh, which develops Leap but I don't work on Leap, I work on DiffCamp, on which Victor had a presentation today. And now, now briefly, what exactly is Arduino? Uh, Arduino is an open source hardware and software company and project, and it's also the name of their AVR, mostly AVR-based microcontroller boards, and also the platform for developing software for those boards. Uh, the platform consists of uh, three parts. Uh, one part is an IDE based on processing. Uh, the second part, they sometimes call it a programming language, but it's actually a library called wiring. And there is some preprocessing that adds something to the file and then it goes normally to AVR GCC. So it's C++ compiled using GCC. It's not a special language. So this is the uh, most common board that's used. It's called uh, an Arduino Uno. And you can see the chip here. It's, uh, it's an AVR chip. It's called an Atmega uh, 328P. And uh, now to the advantages of using Arduino. Uh, it's much easier to use for developers that are not familiar with AVR because you don't, uh, you don't have to have the knowledge of registers, interrupts, and uh, like the, the low level things like that. And there are also plenty of tutorials online. And uh, you can use uh, object-oriented programming like C++, and you have the libraries prepared for that. And another great advantage is that uh, many libraries for peripherals are available online, and you, you can't get them as easily for the components if you didn't use Arduino. And also the board is designed that you uh, don't need to have uh, that much of a knowledge of electronics. But of Of course, this has also some disadvantages. Uh, one disadvantage is that the library is quite large and it fills a significant portion of the limited memory of the chip. But this disadvantage is uh, mostly fixed by using link time optim optimization that leaves out the unused functions. Uh, another thing, and this is the thing I am, optim I am optimizing in this project, is, is the calculation of port registers and masks from the pin number every time you want to write something to a pin. And there are also, and this takes a lot of time. Uh, there are also some other disadvantages like the SD card library lacks, lacks some functions, like you can't read continuously and it's slow, but I, I won't be solving this thing here. So, uh, why use LLVM with Arduino? Uh, the main reason is that you can, you can write LLVM passes and you can optim optimize the code in the LLVM IR bytecode. And you can, it's possible to replace the calls to the IO functions that take a lot of time and make the, make the IO much faster this way. And also you can implement other languages like Rust. There is a project on GitHub, like you can use Rust on AVR. And uh, when developing this, there is also a possibility of improving the LLVM AVR backend. So the problem is that the, the backend is experimental and you have to actually compile a custom compiler to get it. And it contains quite many bugs, like it 
can't link AVR, so you have to use AVR GCC for that. And it's now merged into upstream. It was originally developed outside of the LLVM project. So using CLang with Arduino, CLang is a C compiler for LLVM. Uh, you, we, have, we have to disable link time op optimization because the linking doesn't work. And the link time optimization works like it compiles it to the IR first, and the AVR GCC can't handle that, so that has to be disabled. And also some parts of Arduino don't work because of bugs in LLVM, like the interrupt table had to be removed because LLVM won't handle function pointers in an array. And as I already said, that, that GCC is used for linking. So now to the optimization of I.O. This concerns the functions uh, digital read and digital write. And they take a pin number, which is numbered in some way using the Arduino numbering. And this has to be converted to the native way of writing to the, to the pins. Uh, here is a picture which shows that uh, the digital pin numbers correspond to the ports. And it's implemented like there is a register which contains eight bits. And each bit is one of the pins, like PC0, PC1, that's one register. And it, when you write to the digital pins, the numbers, this has to be recalculated, and this takes time. So uh, I implemented an LLVM pass that removes the calls to the function digital write and translates them at the time of the compilation. And for the testing, I use this simple program, which simply, which simply blinks the built-in LED at the maximum speed. And when you measure the frequency using an oscilloscope, you can see that in the picture on the left, this is the original function from the Arduino library or from wiring. Uh, the frequency is around 144 kilohertz. While with the, my optimization, the frequency is uh, about two megahertz. There are other opportunities how to improve the library, like removing unused functions and variables from the binary, which is the link time optimization, which uh, AVRGCC can do that too. But uh, in LLVM, this doesn't work at this time because of the reasons I, I talked about earlier. And you, we can also optim, optimize analog I.O., not only the digital I.O. And, you, and there, the problem with the SD card can be fixed by adding a function to the library. And when you want to process the data, a uh, function pointer can be used. So where you can find the project? Uh, I have uploaded it to GitHub. It has two parts. One is a hardware directory inside the Arduino IDE, which is configured to use CLang instead of GCC. And the second part is the pass which optimizes the I.O. So that's all. And now it's time for your questions. Uh, it takes so much time because it has to take the number. Uh, it has to look in some table which port it is. Then it has to calculate it to a mask. It first reads the, reads the state of the port register. Then it needs to change the, only the one pin, only the one bit in it. It needs to calculate which bit it is. And then it, then it, then it can do the actual writing. And it's, it's, of course, unnecessary to do this while uh, running the application when you can do this when in the compilation. Okay. So if you don't have any other questions, then... Let's go.